the creepy granny. In a cozy village, on a picturesque street, in an old house lived a granny. Her name was Maria, but everyone in the village called her the creepy granny. Why? Her eyes, black as night, pierced through you. Her voice, creaky like old bread, scared the children. And her smile, toothless and cunning, reminded one of the wolves from fairy tales. Children ran around her house, making up scary stories about what was hidden behind its walls. One day, a group of brave children, a boy named Maxim and a girl named Olya, decided to solve the mystery of the creepy granny. Sneaking up to the window, they looked inside. The room was filled with old things, cobwebs, and dust. In the corner, in a rocking chair, sat the creepy granny herself. She was muttering something to herself, rocking in the chair. Her face was twisted with an evil smile. Maxim and Olya were scared, but curiosity was stronger than fear. They decided to go into the house. The door creaked, and the creepy granny turned her head sharply. Her eyes flashed with fury. Who's there? Her creaky voice rang out. Maxim and Olya, numb with fear, could not utter a word. Get out of my house, the creepy granny screamed, rushing at them. The children ran away. The creepy granny chased them, swearing and cursing. Maxim and Olya ran out of the house and rushed down the street. The creepy granny stopped at the door, looking after them furiously. Maxim and Olya, panting and scared, hid in a secluded spot. What was that? Olya asked, trembling with fear. I don't know, Maxim answered, but I never want to see her again. From that day on, Maxim and Olya ran around the creepy granny's house for ten kilometers. The mystery of the creepy granny remained unsolved. But in the village, legends about her anger and terrible magic still circulate. Continuation of the story. Many years passed. Maxim and Olya grew up, started families, and almost forgot about the creepy granny. One day, Maxim, walking down the street, saw a familiar house. He stopped and looked in the window. The room was empty. Maxim entered the house. Everything inside was the same as it had been many years ago. Old things, cobwebs, dust. He approached the rocking chair. There was a book on it. Maxim took the book in his hands and opened it. The pages of the book were filled with recipes for old potions and spells. Maxim realized that the creepy granny was not just an evil old woman, but a real witch. He took the book with him so that no one else would use its evil magic. Maxim and Olya decided to burn the creepy granny's book. They made a fire on the sea. Moral. The story of the creepy granny teaches us that not everything that seems scary really is. Sometimes behind an evil appearance there can be a secret, and behind a terrible, 